Chelsea versus Arsenal at Stamford Bridge. We're ready to wrap up third, but more importantly, let's punch them while they're down. Let's absolutely punish them for what they were saying when they won a few games. Now, all of a sudden, four defeats in the last five, and they've gone very quiet. I thought London was red. Pathetic, it'll always be blue. Two times Champions League winners will tell you that. Welcome to the Gaff Guys and in today's video we are doing the match preview against Chelsea versus Arsenal at Stamford Bridge tomorrow. We're going to bring you from the press conference very insightful conversations. Number one, the team news. What's going on with Callum hudson Adoy? He got a new trim, but is he back? Ben Chilwell back in training with the youth team. We will talk about that. Romelu Lukaku needs to learn from Werner and Thomas Tuchel takes a little slight shot at him. Then there's discussion on Rhys James his best position, the reason why Jorginho has not been playing to his standards and much much more. I'm giving you the predicted lineup and the predicted score. Let's get into this video. Pete. But before we get started, I think it's three things that we need to get out of the way. The quick admin. Number one, hit that like button. We're aiming for 250 likes on this video. In the comments below, let me know what number like you are. It goes a long way. Number two, hit that subscribe button. It's free of charge. It goes a long way. And finally, if you want Kafka's view extra, I'm on Instagram now. Yes, the link will be in the description below and the pinned comment. And the reason it's in the pinned comment is so you can go subscribe. During the game, I'll be giving you like live clips of my reactions after the goals. And more importantly, we'll be doing Q and A's and other fun features on there, including polls. So if you like that stuff, go over there. But let's get on with the video. Team news number one. Callum Hudson-Odoi is on a day-to-day basis. We're not going to know whether he's fit or not for a while. The guy is going to miss the game tomorrow, but he is e eagerly coming back to training. Mateo Kovacic, injured with two weeks minimum with ligament issues. Bad news for Chelsea Football Club. And Ben Chilwell has started training in the upcoming weeks with the one and only youth team. This is great news for him. This is the next stage of him regaining fitness and regaining confidence in his knee and then coming back, hopefully in August, Full throttle, ready to play for Chelsea Football Club again. Because boy, have we missed basic Ben. They asked him a silly question, and the silly question was very, very silly, because that's exactly what it was. Is it hard to motivate the players at this moment in time? How is it hard to motivate these players? These players have got a point to prove. The reason we're not in this league title is because we had injuries at the critical moment and a few cancellations of games didn't go in our favour. If they did, we most probably would be close to Man uh, Liverpool and Man City. That's the truth. People don't want to accept it. But these players will be amped up. It's a London derby. They know how dangerous Arsenal can be. And I'm excited to see it. Timo Werner can has been fantastic and Thomas Tuchel has openly said that when you he gave him a lot of plaudits in the press conference he openly spoke about his performances against Southampton Crystal Palace and Real Madrid which I have said on record has been fantastic but he also fired a little cheeky shot at Tuchel listen sometimes you have to listen and read the words people are saying because People are very good and articulate and can colour stuff in in a particular way that makes it sound rosy, but there's a shot in there because people don't listen these days. Number one, he says, yes, L Lukaku would have got an opportunity against Palace, but then he goes and says, Lukaku should have scored two goals after he proceeds to give compliments to Timo Werner. He said he should have scored against Madrid and he should have scored against Palace. We know that. He knows that he doesn't need to say because Rom knows that inside. And I said that the other day, Rom's chance was ugly miss, but we don't need to pile in on him on that. The latest news on the takeover. There is none. We don't know anything. And at this moment in time, I'm just assuming we're never going to have new ownership. Is that deep? Tuchel has none. I've got none. I don't know what's going on. You lot tell me. Tuchel went on and spoke about Mr. Chalaber's mission, and I think this was a very good man management from Thomas Tuchel. Look, players break into the first team from the graduate team, and all of a sudden, they look great. We've seen this with multiple players. Tammy Abraham, Fukai Tomori, Mason Mount, Callum hudson Doy, And all of a sudden, then they have a drop-off. And the worst thing you can do when they have this drop-off is keep them in there and let them play out of it. It doesn't work. Sometimes it's better to pull them out, let them go under the side, wait three, four weeks, and then slowly reintegrate. And here, 
This is a prime example of what happened with Chalaba. Chalaba was looking very shaky for a period of time. He had a few games back to back where giving away penalties, getting cooked by Diaz, and all of a sudden the fan base is, he ain't getting up for the club. When they spent the first four months saying how we shouldn't have signed Jules Kunde. Make up your minds, that's all I'm gonna say. But he took him out, he said you got Andres, we got Thiago, we got Ruben, uh, Antonio, uh, Rudiger, sorry, and Reese James. Four players as well as Cesar, make that five. We've got options there, sometimes you have to pull him away. I spoke to Trevor, Trevor knows what's going on, and I love this. Great man management from Thomas Tuchel, fantastic. What I love about Thomas Tuchel's press conference, they're more insightful than the regular managers. We've had Sari, we've had Jose, who was a spectacle show, I loved his press conference. We had Antonio Conte that all he ever said is, we need to learn to suffer. We need to learn to suffer. That's all he ever said. Then we had Frank Lampard, uh, God bless him, put me to sleep. But now we've got a manager that actually gives some reasons and some volume behind his answers. And number one, he explains why Rhys James has been playing right centre back. He openly said it's a less physically demanding role and it enables Reese to get back in, get some match fitness, but more importantly, Reese can do both roles. And this is a beautiful answer because I believe in this. In the long run, my dream, and this is my dream, I'm telling you, I would love the idea of Tino Liveramento right wing back, we rebuy him. You go for Reese James, a good center midfield, uh, center center back, and on the left hand side, Colwell. Oh my god, that would be fantastic because Chelsea's academy is fantastic and they produce great talents. And the fact that Tuchel sees that Reese is so flexible, Reese can even go into the midfield if he wants. I'm very excited to see, I can't lie to you. Get off Jorginho's backs. That's basically what Tuchel said. Get off Jorginho's back. And this was so nice that he came out and openly, he came out and openly discussed this. And he said, look, Jorginho's won a lot, done a lot in the last 12 months. And all of a sudden, the pressure was high, he's been overused, over-depended on, and now he, we are reaping the sins of our actions. This is what happens when you overuse talents. And the same can be said for NG. N'Gola Kante has played too much football. Jorginho has played too much football. Mateo Kovacic has played too much football. And all of this happened because you signed Saul Niguez instead of going and getting Shuamen. Because Shuamen would have mitigated the number of minutes they've played. They would have been more cautious with Shuameni and integrated in nice and slowly and he would have been ready. But with Saul, it was like basically having a youth team player you don't trust. That's what happened. And I think this is nice that he came out and stuck up for him and I hope Chelsea do not sign Saul in the summer. I really do. That was Tuchel's news and now this is my news. And this is what I think Tuchel's going to do tomorrow. I think we're going strong tomorrow. Go hard or go home, you know the expression. We're going with Mendy in goal, we're going with a back three in my opinion of Antonio Rudiger, Thiago Silva, and I think Rhys James will continue on the right wing back position, and I think Andreas Christensen will come back in on the right hand side. Then we're gonna go for a midfield two, the only two we have at this moment in time, and I think it's gonna be Angola Kante and Jorginho. Left wing back, Marcus Alonso, must play, no one else. Then we've got a front three, and the front three conundrum is an interesting one. I think he goes with the tried and tested again. I think he goes with Timo Werner, on form, El Fuego. Mason Mount, 26 league uh, uh, goals and assists. And Kai Havertz, the greatest on earth. Simple as that, this is what I think is gonna happen. Tomorrow the game against Arsenal is gonna be high critical game. Because of the reason that Arsenal need to win more than we do. And we need to teach them a little lesson. I do not want to see Arsenal come to the bridge. I do not want to see propaganda on my TL for the next 12 months. Please Chelsea, do not humiliate us. Please beat them and do it comfortably. They go silent, they disappear like rats. Yeah, they're like the Ninja Turtles, but boring. They literally, their fan base, they go hidden when they lose. When they win, they're unbearable. I swear to God, Arsenal fans are the worst fans. They're unbearable. They win one game, they're unbearable. I need Arsenal to take another L. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. I think Chelsea will win 2-0. I think it'll be clinical performance. Arsenal will do okay but we will be under control. This will be a hard game. Check out my reactions during the game on my Instagram, subscribe to the channel, and hit the video. Peace out, I'm out.